Hey, welcome to day, everyone. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick preview to our Philadelphia Flyers and Pittsburgh Penguins game out there in Pittsburgh, as Pittsburgh is missing a lot of key players due to injury and especially the COVID-19 protocol. I also just did a video on the Eichel trade. If you want to check that out, I'm going to link that at the end of this video for people that want to check that out. But let's get right into this game. We have... We have... The Pittsburgh Penguins with Evgeny Malkin and Brian Rust on the injury list. And then we have Sidney Crosby, Brian Dumoulin, Marcus Pedersen, and Chad Ruedel on the COVID-19 protocol. So they're missing a lot of key guys there. So hopefully our Flyers are able to pounce and take advantage of missing those players and really be able to get into the zone and create some offense more missing one of their better defenders in Dumoulin. And then Crosby's also one of the better players on both ends of the ice, and then Brian Rust is also a very good defensive pesky forward as well. So missing those guys, you would hope the Flyers are able to generate a little bit, not a little bit, generate more offense and be more aggressive in their zone, not having those key players for the Pittsburgh Penguins. But when it comes to today, the lines are Twist and Yari's projected. You have Yuso Rikola back there in defense with Mark Friedman, who's a Flyers killer ever since we traded him. I believe it's three of his six career points are against the Philadelphia Flyers. So you got to watch out for him. You have POJ, Pierre Olivier Joseph, a Matthew Joseph's brother. And then you have John Marino with him. You got Matheson and Latang together. And then you have Drew O'Connor up, who's looked very good when he's been in the minors. I've got to watch him in the AHL for Wilkes-Barre on the fourth line with Brian Boyle and Dominique Simone. You have Zach Anton, Reese, Teddy Bluger, and Brock McGinn. Then you have Jason Zucker, Evan Rodriguez, and Kasperi Kapanen. You got Rodriguez up there on the second line since they don't have either Crosby or Malkin in. Then you still got Carter up there on the first line like he was doing at the beginning of the season before Crosby came back, who's now back out with the COVID protocol. Jeff Carter, former flyer, Dayton Heinen, and Jack, or Jack, Jake Gensel. Um, on that top line as well. I still had Jack Eichel on my mind from doing that video. Dayton Heinen is a player, though, that has six points in eight games. He's a player that's starting to really kind of come into his own this year at the Penguins, so you're going to want to watch him on that top line. He's been playing a very efficient and productive game early on this season for the 3-3-2 three, three, and two Penguins that are not a team to take lightly, even with guys out, because we know Sullivan always has this team playing very competitive and playing to the best of their current abilities of whoever's on the ice. That's why he's usually considered one of the better coaches in the league. So this is a team you can't take lightly, but it's also a team with these injuries to Evgeny Malkin and Brian Russ, plus the guys out on code protocol, especially the Crosby and Dumoulin, who's your second best defender to Latang out. That should really be able to help the Flyers to be able to push the ante, get into the offensive zone, create more chances, and be more aggressive in that offensive zone than you normally could be against this Pittsburgh team when they would have the opposing ru rush with the guys like Rust, Crosby, and Malkin there. So when it comes to our Philadelphia Flyers, they got Claude Giroux, Sean Couturier, and Travis Konechny together still. Fairby, Broussard, and Atkinson. He ain't going to mess with that. And you got Oscar Lindblom, Scott Walden, and Van Riemsdyk. Again, that third line hasn't been scoring a lot, but other than <clears throat> in the beginning of the Arizona game when realistically until that no goal call, that seemed to wake up the boys. That line has been doing the smaller things right, the forechecking in the corners, getting the puck, and kind of being able to tire out the other team. But we do, obviously would want to see them get more on the score sheet. But like A.V. said, it's a lot easier to mix up your lines too early than it is to keep them together and let them work themselves out. And that's what happened last game, and we look for that to continue to happen this game to now have the success building off of being able to get off of that seven-period goal drought, which in the grand scheme, if you have 240-some periods in a season, is not all that much. And then you got Nicholas Albe Kubel with Nate Thompson and Zach McEwen on the fourth line. We got Ivan Provorov with Justin Braun, who's playing like a basically a bottle rocket. He's playing amazing this year. So definitely, like Jamie said, don't want to hear anybody trashing Justin Braun. I don't care if he has an off night. He's been really stepping up this year. You got Travis Sanheim with Rasmus Ristolainen, and then Keith Yandel with Nick Sealer. Then you have Carter Hot. Carter Hot is going to be starting with obviously Martin Jones backing up. So that is how it shapes up tonight. Let's go Flyers. Let's take advantage of this weakened Pittsburgh team due to the COVID protocol, as well as the injury report of Malkin and Rust being out. The Flyers should win this game. This is a game that the Flyers have to go into Pittsburgh and be able to capture victory in because their schedule is not getting easier in the next two. You got Washington at Washington, then you come home to play Toronto, who's obviously a very talented, especially offensive team. 
So you got to be able to get these wins and take advantage of these teams being weaker and not having their full team. I expect the Flyers to play more like they did in the second half of that game and try to come out more aggressive now that they have just had to go down a highway and have been back in PA for a while and kind of settled in. It's not like the trip to Pittsburgh should really tire you out like the trip back home from Canada seemed to have done until we woke up from that no-goal call in the Arizona game. So this is a game I really look for the Flyers to try to pounce early and take advantage of the weaknesses of Pittsburgh due to the lineup they have playing today and try to get a victory that they play a pretty clean, usually you never play a very clean full 60, but you play a better full 60 and don't have to kind of get it going or get a call or get something to kind of spark you like we did in last game. But this has been a preview to the Philadelphia Flyers versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. Let's go Flyers. Let's keep those winning ways going after getting the shut out against the Arizona Coyotes the other night. Let's maybe even shut out the Pittsburgh Penguins tonight. Who knows? This has been Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe up above on the Easy to Use widget or down below. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and let's go Flyers. Bring it to Broad.